I'm Peter Block here in Denver, Colorado at TCT for On the Scene, and with me is Steve Worthley from Australia. Steve is reporting on a late-breaking clinical trial uh, that uh, gives me a deja vu all over again. And that is about a technology that eight or 10 years ago was performed on two patients where a coronary sinus T-bar was attached to an atrial septum, and you pulled on the string and the mitral regurgitation went away. So this has been rejuvenated as a uh, technology. Steve, tell me about the trial. Look, the trial is called the Maverick trial, Peter, and, and you're correct. It leverages the early cases that were performed in Venezuela many years ago. Uh, it's from a company called MVRX. Uh, the device is called the Arto device. And just to briefly go over, because it is a little complex to think about, but it's all for functional mitral incompetence. So we know that's a major issue. Uh, functional MR in patients with LV dysfunction has a mortality of over 50% at three years. Uh, and obviously for surgical repair, they are very high risk, these patients. Uh, this technology looks to basically bring the, the coaptation plane back together of the mitral leaflets by using an ingenious technology where a small T-bar is placed in the coronary sinus through an internal jugular venous approach, but at the same time through a right femoral venous approach, uh, the inner atrial septum uh, has, has a transeptal puncture and an Amplatza occluder device is placed there with a hole so that a thread can go through the middle of that device, attach to the bar and the coronary sinus through the left atrium. And so those two positions basically are, uh, are approximating the, the middle part of the posterior mitral leaflet and the middle part of the anterior mitral leaflet. That thread can then be tensioned and locked and that thus brings the posterior and anterior mitral leaflets together. And the mitral regurgitation goes away. It goes away. So, so what I have the opportunity to present on Wednesday is the, the, the six month data from the 45 patients that have been performed in Europe and Australia as part of the Maverick trial. Okay, so tell me what the outcome is. Well, the outcome, the primary outcome was reduction in mitral incompetence. And basically at, at baseline, we had approximately 70% of patients that had three plus or four plus MR. And at six months, we saw that 90% of patients had two plus or less. In fact, 60% of patients had basically trace or one plus MR only. The regurgitant volume uh, reduced from 40 mils to 20 mils. Uh, but what was most important was the functional changes. So 70% of these patients had um, grade three or four New York Heart Association class heart failure, so were very symptomatic. But at six months, 80% of them had New York Heart Association um, class one or two only. So a marked improvement in functional um, outcome for these patients, attesting to the fact that by reducing their MR, we led to an improvement in their symptoms. Did their ventricles get smaller? They did. Uh, we looked at that only using um, transthoracic echo, but there was a small but significant reduction in the left ventricular end diastolic um, internal dimensions. Okay, so going forward, Steve, uh, what's going to happen to this technology? Obviously it works. It's another one of those coronary sinus issues that are always a little arguable, but what do you think? Bigger trial coming up? Look, next steps, there's going to be some refinements in terms of the procedure. The procedure itself is a, is a safe procedure. We actually saw there was no death, uh, no stroke, uh, so there were no major adverse outcomes. Uh, two patients uh, had events. One, there was a, uh, a pericardial effusion in one patient and, and renal impairment in the other but uh, all of whom recovered. But what is will happen is there'll be some refinements in the procedure to make it easier and shorter and quicker. But to your point, absolutely, the next step will actually be a, a larger scale trial uh, looking at um, not just these uh, surrogate outcomes such as ventricular function and symptoms, but harder endpoints such as rehospitalization and mortality. Well, keep your eye on this technology. It's interesting stuff. It's been around for a long time and now rejuvenated, reborn, as it were. And thank you very much for telling me about it. Cheers.